A grand jury on Monday night decided not to indict Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson in the shooting death of Michael Brown. Here's a look at the events that unfolded leading to the decision. On August 9th, 18-year-old Michael Brown and a friend were walking down the middle of a residential street in Ferguson, Missouri, when local police officer Darren Wilson instructed them to move onto the sidewalk. What happened next is what the grand jury attempted to piece together in order to reach its ruling. But what is known is Mr. Brown, who was unarmed, was shot six times and killed. Some witnesses in the area claimed he had his hands in the air, but the St. Louis police chief said there was a struggle in the police car and Mr. Brown reached for Officer Wilson's gun. Mr. Brown's body was left in the street for several hours, sparking outrage in the predominantly African-American community. Protests erupted on August 10th and looters destroyed the local convenience store. Police arrest 32 people. About 300 police officers from other jurisdictions joined the Ferguson police. Police and protesters continued to clash for several days. The fact that Michael Brown was black and Darren Wilson was white gave the clashes a racial overtone. The 53-officer police force in Ferguson only had three black officers at the time of the shooting, and many residents argue the police used racial profiling. In 2013, 86% of police stops were for African Americans, but they make up only 63% of the population. August 12th, President Obama Missouri. first addressed the incident. Uh, I know that many Americans have been deeply disturbed by the images we've seen in the heartland of our country as police have clashed with people protesting. Uh, I've already tasked the Department of Justice and the FBI to independently investigate the death of Michael Brown. On August 14th, Governor Jay Nixon put Missouri Highway Patrol Captain Ron Johnson in charge of policing. And on August 15th, police finally released the name of Darren Wilson. The officer that was involved in the shooting of uh, Michael Brown was Darren Wilson. He's been a police officer for six years, has had no, uh, no disciplinary action taken against him. They also released surveillance footage of a robbery moments prior to the shooting and named Mr. Brown as the suspect. Reports have conflicted on whether Mr. Wilson stopped Mr. Brown because of the robbery, with Ferguson Police Chief Thomas Jackson initially saying it was not related. On August 16th, Governor Nixon announced a curfew for Ferguson residents, but the protests continued. Police drew national attention for their military-style equipment and so-called five-second rule, where protesters were told not to stand still for longer than that or face arrest. On August 18th, the National Guard was brought in. By August 20th, the protests had grown more peaceful when the grand jury deliberations began. Michael Brown's funeral was held August 25th. Michael also stated to the family that one day, the world would know his name. Protesters declared October Ferguson October and demonstrated at baseball games, campuses, and the St. Louis Symphony Orchestra. On November 17th, as the grand jury grew closer to a decision, Governor Jay Nixon again declared a state of emergency and protesters geared up for demonstrations. But Michael Brown's father has urged for calm and nonviolence following the decision. I do not want my son's death to be in vain. 